Welcome students. Today I am taking chapter 2 sectors of economy chapter 2 of class 10. In this chapter we are going to read about the different sectors of economy primary sector, secondary sector and tertiary sector and also after that we are going to read how the gross domestic product is counted. So let's begin our today's class with different sectors of economy. So our econom economy is divided into basically three main activities, primary, secondary and tertiary. First is the primary sector. All the activities which are being done using the natural resources is known as a primary sector. Why it is called as a primary sector? Because all the things that we are making under this sector are been directly taken from the nature such as agriculture, forestry, mining, fishing. These all are the activities. These all are the things that we use nature directly. So we say this sector as a primary sector. Now these are the examples fishing, agriculture, mining, forestry, these all are the examples of the primary sector. Second important sector is secondary sector. Now this sector which uses the natural product and changes into a new unit or manufacturing unit, this is known as an industrial activity or manufacturing activity. The agricultural products cannot be used on its own. We need some machinery to convert into a usable product. So these activities are known as a secondary activities. For example, cotton. We cannot use the cotton fiber directly. We can we have to make a shirt out of it. So cotton is an agricultural product, primary product, and we are converting them into a cloth, yarn. So that becomes a secondary activity. Same as for the sugarcane. We cannot use sugarcane all the time. We convert sugarcane into a sugar or a girl. This is known as a secondary activity. Now this activity, this sector is associated with different kind of industries. So we call it as a industrial sector. The third and the most important sector nowadays is a tertiary sector. Tertiary sector is a sector which do not produce any goods. It only helps the first and the second sector, that is the primary and the secondary sector. Examples, transportation, storage, communication, banking, your ATM cards, these are ATM boots, these all are the examples of the tertiary sector. Loan has been given in the banks, without loans we cannot do anything. Transportation without tra trucks, without the transportation facilities, we cannot move our goods from one place to another. So this is an important sector for both the primary and the secondary sectors because primary and secondary goods cannot be moved on its own. They need the help of the tertiary sector to grow. <clears throat> Since these activities generate services, so these are called as the service sector. This is the prime tertiary sector. One thing about the tertiary sector that this sector is also known as a service sector because it is not producing anything. Remember it. It is not producing anything. They are only providing services. Even the teaching comes in the tertiary sector. The barber, the services of the barber that you use comes in the tertiary sector. So all these things have been there in the tertiary sector. I hope I'm clear in all defining all the sectors. First was the primary sector. Primary sector which uses the natural products on its own. That is known as a primary sector. The main examples are agriculture, mining. The second was the secondary sector. The secondary sector which uses the agricultural product 
using machinery and convert into a other new thing that is known as a secondary sector we have an example of cotton now third is the tertiary sector which provides services to both the primary and secondary sector this is the tertiary sector it does not produce any goods but it only helps in <clears throat> primary and secondary sector these are the examples atm transportation commun tra communication hospitals all are the example of the tertiary sector how to count various goods and services and production in the sector this is known as gdp gross domestic product gross domestic product is the sum of production of all the three sectors all the three sectors whichever whatever the goods final goods only keep this thing in your mind only the final goods and services produced within a particular year is known as the gross product of that particular country <clears throat> after that now we'll study about the historical changes in the three stages initial stage children just remember this thing that or either it is a developing country or the developed country it is always the countries initiated or the country started from the agriculture sector only slowly and slowly within years they move from secondary then to the tertiary sector now most of the developed 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 countries they are more involved in the tertiary sector but in the initial stage it was only the primary sector when they get more resources they convert them into the secondary units when they get more resources and finally the secondary sector so second is the second secondary stage over 100 years new methods of manufacturing introduced factories came up so people started working in the factories less dependence on agriculture this is how they move to the secondary stage and third stage there has been a further shift from the secondary to the tertiary sector in the developed countries we are still in the developing stage so we have a dependent on in agriculture and industrial sector but in the developed countries they have there is a shift from secondary to tertiary sector more people are engaged in the tertiary sector that is service sector and they have been producing most of the the first and the most important reason is the government is providing basic facilities to its people government is providing facilities so standard of living has improved secondly second thing is that the people are been getting more income than before so their standard of living has improved third important reason for the role of tertiary sector is agriculture and industries are getting better or are getting more importance so as a result of it the tertiary sector has to provide services to them so it has been improving fourth and the most important point is the improvement or development of it sector because of the it sector tertiary sector has enlarged its base in india fifth globalization globalization also is an important factor now the different countries are trading with each other so as a result of it the services the service sector has increased the demand for more and more services is increasing so we say that tertiary sector is improving in our country this is all for this for thank you have a nice day